Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Dominic Adams. I'm a political science and philosophy major at YSU. My name is Tian Huang, and I'm a computer science major. I'm Kathleen Slogan, and I'm a mechanical engineering major. And I'm Alyssa Ruggles, and I'm a chemical engineering major. And this is the Sidewalk Evaluation Project. So our project centers around sidewalk infrastructure in Youngstown. It came to us through Jordan Kareem from the City Construction and Engineering Department. Uh, he has basically been our mentor this entire time, helping us to identify the problem, helping us to troubleshoot possible solutions. So thank you, Jordan, for that. Um, and this issue came to us, <laughs> this issue, was, issue came to us through him. So uh, Youngstown sidewalk infrastructure has been appreciating for there are thousands of miles of walk in the city that are not receiving the proper funding nor attention. And this is partly in due to the fact that the city does not have a comprehensive way to monitor these conditions, especially in areas like the south side. And so our goal stems directly from that. We want to develop a usable, effective, and efficient solution on how to monitor sidewalk conditions in Youngstown. No that doesn't look accessible. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you agree. So, sidewalk conditions are vital to develop a healthy and safe community, and Youngstown, according to this, this is an actual picture from the south side, doesn't have this infrastructure to foster that. We want to change that. The city's current system, uh, it works through cclickfix.com. It does provide real usable data, however, it relies on residents uh, entirely to provide this data uh, of their own volition. Uh, it's difficult to locate on the website. Many people aren't even aware of its existence. We certainly weren't. And there were no funds to fix sidewalks until now. So we've developed two different solutions. First, the Arduino solution, which uses on-site teams as well as this device uh, to compile data and monitor conditions simply just by driving around and seeing it with your eyes. And then we use the virtual rating system, which uses satellite and online mapping softwares to basically color in maps. Um, and this is usable from home, a workplace, et cetera. And we needed a place to deploy our solutions and check out their viability. So we chose the sixth ward uh, because it is receiving the most funding from the American Rescue Plan, uh, which recently just gave us a ton of money to fix sidewalks in Youngstown. Six Ward is getting $350,000 specifically for sidewalks. And it needs it because the uh, conditions there are extremely poor. So to elevate our project, we wanted to gain some community input. So we created a survey that we made accessible via a QR code, and we placed that on a flyer that we hung around different businesses and restaurants on the south side. So the first question we asked was, which side of town do you live on? And the majority are from the south side, and then we have a few outliers from the west side and the east side. Second, we asked if they would like the city to budget for sidewalk repairs in their neighborhood, and the majority also said yes. Then we also asked how often they use the sidewalks, and most of them said daily. And then we asked what the biggest concern regarding sidewalks was, in their opinion, and they, most of them said unevenness, which after driving around most of the sixth ward like for the past week, we feel to agree with that. And then lastly, we asked if anyone had any additional comments, and we had a few responses that said that they would love to walk on the sidewalks with their grandkids and their family. However, due to the poor conditions, they can't. So I feel this further proves the need for our project. So we came up with a rating system to implement our project, a one through five rating system, so one being the worst and five being the best. Um, it is uh, as cracking, unevenness, vegetation cover, and walkability. And so it only needs to meet one of the requirements to be able to fall into uh, one of the categories. And here are some examples of the fives, so the fives look the best. I mean, the fours, and the threes, twos, and one. And as you can see, it progressively gets worse as it goes along. And then we, so for our virtual rating system, we wanted to elevate our project and also test our rating system. So we use Google Maps from 2019 to view both sides of the sidewalk, the right side. We also came up with a color coordinate 
the colors associated with the numbers that go along with it. And so this is the example of it. This is the Cottage Grove neighborhood, which is the worst neighborhood out of all of the cis ward. Yeah, for sidewalks. Yeah. Moving on to our second solution. Sidewalks. Sidewalks. <laughs> At the very top, we have what's called Merge. It's basically just a mini computer where you can program and add additional parts. At the bottom left, we have the GPS module. And what this does is allow us to track our location and sense information to the Arduino, such as the latitude and longitude. Then at the bottom right, we have a micro SD card reader. And what that enables us to do is to write the information, such as the latitude and longitude into an SD card, and then we can transfer that information into a laptop and then manipulate the data. <coughs> well, speaking of the process, we had a three-step process that we went through. The first step was to collect the data, and that was mostly done through the Arduino, uh, where we would plug it into our laptop and then drive around and rate uh, the sidewalks. And then put that information into a, an Excel file. The second step was to manipulate the data. So we would take the SD card from uh, the system and plug it into a laptop and then separate the files into their own uh, files using the ratings. So we'd have a separate file for all sidewalk segments that have ones. We'd have a separate one for twos and so on. And then the last step is uh, to create the heat map. So we would use those CSV files from the previous step and then create individual heat maps for those to show where exactly uh, these ratings are. Overall, the cost here is only, it comes to around $80 total. And surprisingly enough, the GPS module is actually the most expensive part of our system. But the main takeaway from this is that the cost is low, so that it's very easily replicable. So a few slides back, you saw Arduino, and we had that house in a 3D printed box that we drew up. And we did that using SolidWorks, and the dimensions are 17 by 10 by 6 centimeters. And then we also drew a little square in the bottom left corner, and that's one and a half by one and a half centimeters. And we did that to, for the USB cord to plug into the Arduino and then pl plug into Tian's computer. And so once we had the device all configured, it was time to get out on the road and survey. Uh, to help us with that, we developed 33 different routes of the 6th and 7th board that feed into each other to document the roads as efficiently as possible. First, we went longitudinally, uh, which is like east to west, and then we went latitudinally north to south. Um, and with this, we were able to cover about two thirds of the sixth ward uh, and develop this data. And this was the result. So this is just part of the data we were able to gather in just under a week. This is a heat map of all of the sidewalk segments that we found uh, fives. And obviously, there's not very many, which is not ideal for community development or community just health in general. This is a heat map of four, and where you see there are darker green and yellow spots, you can, you can tell that um, there are more points there, so the sidewalk ratings on both sides are generally the same. This is a heat map of all the threes, and as you can expect, uh, most of the sidewalk is three, just because it's in the middle of the rating system. This is a heat map of two. Uh, they're very scattered, not very uh, concentrated in any place, except for maybe that one spot in the middle. And then finally, we have a uh, heat map of the ratings one, and most of the ones, uh, the density wise, is at the very top of the south side. And then we also have a comparison of our two systems. So on the left, we have the Arduino, and in the circled areas, those are the same spots, and you can see that the ratings are generally the same fours and fives. So then, in addition to our project, we also surveyed the sidewalks on Elm Street. And we did this from Madison Avenue up until Park Avenue and on both sides of the street. So pretty much what we did, we just went around to each block and we used spray paint and just numbered one through five based on our rating system that we developed. So the first two here are ones, and as you can see, sidewalk is missing. So <laughs> they are rated ones. The two, that block has extreme tripping hazards. Three has some major cracking over there, four some minor cracking, and then five is nearly perfect. And we also drew arrows to show if the um, sidewalks were continuously that rating, so we didn't have to run on every single block. <laughs> so then we made a pamphlet so that anyone who wants to continue our project will know how to 
work our system and the ratings that go along with it. So we have the steps of how to do it and then pictures that go along with the ratings so they have an example of them do it. And then on the inside of the pamphlet, we have troubleshooting. So they know like certain things, how to fix it, how to test for it, and then the different parts of it. So some future improvements on our project that we noticed as we were working on it is first, when we are surveying using the Arduino method to highlight the areas that you've already been uh, so that you don't cover the same street twice. Uh, we had some issues with that where we had to um, go back and center the data. Um, as well as encourage more community involvement, especially with organizations like the Honors College, uh, Rotary, et cetera, who can provide volunteers to maybe do this in the future. And then make the Arduino housing smaller. Uh, you saw that it was pretty bulky, but it's still a workable size, but we figured out that we could make it even smaller. And moving forward, uh, concerning the two methods, uh, the Arduino requires a large skill set to use, and it absolutely gives you more accurate readings due to the on-site team. Um, However, we recommend that this is for official use as well as corporate use if the city wants uh, people with the necessary skill sets to operate it, troubleshoot it. It is a very highly technical device. For volunteer use, we recommend the virtual rating system. Uh, organizations like the Honors College and Rotary could use this to just do it from home or even from campus or from offices to simply go on and use online software to uh, look at the conditions using Google Street View, things like that. And special thanks to uh, the team at City, YSU, and EAG, uh, Dr. Hazel Marie, and Daniel Bancroft, uh, our uh, supervisors, uh, Venus Cataldo and Gianna Marinucci. I can't find you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then another special thanks to Professor Jason Sapka, who helped us troubleshoot our device uh, from YSU, uh, Eric Hake, who helped us with our 3D printing software, and then our community mentor, of course, Jordan, who's this idea this all was, uh, who will be taking it from here. And if anybody's interested, we do have reports uh, that compile all of this data into a uh, nine page uh, report if anybody would like them. We have a few copies. And this will also be going to the appropriate data. So thank you. And we're going to open it up to a QA. Whenever, um, but your project is orchestrated around the sidewalks. You're saying you attach the device to like a bicycle or a scooter of sorts to go along the sidewalks, or are you measuring a recording from the road? We record it from the roads. Okay. So our latitude and longitude would be on the roads, but it's just to give like a, a general area of where exactly. And due to the uh, AV contract we had, if we did decide to go by foot or by bicycle, uh, it would have taken far longer than it did. We already surveyed 12 hours and it, we only got to two thirds of the area that we wanted to cover, but this proves the viability of our platform. I forgot to ask you this question when I came for your presentation. Did the four of you design that device? Together, yeah. Yeah, together, so it belongs to the four of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you now have a room of stakeholders. <laughs> <laughs> we all like to buy stock. <laughs> So, do you take into consideration, you know, the foot traffic on these sidewalks and whether or not the sidewalks actually need to be replaced and maybe just removed entirely and re replanted with tree lawns or something to continually beautify the area? Not we absolutely did. Uh, we chose the sixth ward for another reason as well that isn't listed. It is highly residential. It has a great population density. Um, so the foot traffic there is almost consistent. And while we were surveying, actually, we didn't take any pictures because we thought that, that would be an invasion of privacy. But uh, people were walking uh, down the roads and not the sidewalks because of the conditions. And so we also developed our survey to try and uh, get some responses. And people said that they use it daily, weekly. And so, yes, we have considered the foot traffic. Yes? It looks like we should have responses. Yes, we would have liked to have gotten more. However, we had a lot of issues trying to get the Arduino working, but we finally did. And so we were focused more on the technical side of things, actually promoting the viability of the platform. 
So I noticed in your picture you use a breadboard for a good chunk of it. Was that in the final design to use that with the housing? No, it's, so, not, it's not included in the final design. It's just for easy troubleshooting. I was concerned for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, thank you. Thank you.